Hello everyone, welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In previous lessons, we learned how to control the output of our blog homepage, we learned how to control the output of archive listings, and we learned how to control the output of search results. But what we didn't learn is how to keep our code dry. Dry stands for don't repeat yourself. So you'll notice that there's a lot of similarities between the way that posts are output on the search results, category archives, and the homepage. They're all outputting the title with a link, the date, the author, the category, and then either the content or the excerpt. So there's no need to have that code repeated in our theme files. So in this lesson, we're going to learn about a function named get template part, which will allow our code to be very dry. So let's dive right in. So we'll hop over to our code. This is index.php of our theme folder. And what we want to do is extract the part of the code that is being looped through. So we can see here's while, this line of code, anything below this line of code, but above this end while line is what's being looped through. So basically the article element. So we wanna take this article element and cut it, and then create a new file in our theme folder named content.php and then just paste in the code that we just removed from index. Okay, so now where that code was sitting, we wanna enter a new line that says git template part. This is a WordPress function. It accepts two parameters. For now, we're only going to use one and we'll say content. Obviously, this slug matches the name of the new file that we just created, so it will pull in this code. So we said content, close the line with a semicolon, and then because we removed HTML and we added PHP, we just need to drop into and out of PHP at the correct moments. So I'll edit that. Okay, we're looking good. Now, if I refresh, quite literally nothing changes, which is good. We're not looking to change the output or behavior of our theme. We just want the code to be less repetitive. So now we can reuse this line, get template part content in other theme files. So for example, when we perform a search on our site, so if I search for the phrase opinion, this output is being controlled by search.php. Now we're in search.php and this code looks really familiar. This code is nearly identical, beginning with article, this is what's getting looped through. It's nearly identical to what was in index.php, which means we don't need this. So I can delete this and then paste in git template part and obviously drop into and out of PHP where it makes sense. If I refresh the search results screen, we see very little change. But let's go ahead and review the tiny change that we did see. So we noticed that now we see the full text for this post, whereas before we substituted the code with get template part for search PHP, search results were always only returning a short excerpt. Let's restore that functionality. So in content.php, Scroll down here. This is the file that's being included with the get template part code. And we want to adjust this so that when we're on the home page, it uses this existing logic to decide between showing either the excerpt or the full text. But if we're on the search results page, we want it to always be the excerpt. So we can just create a new if statement that will do that for us. So we'll say, we'll drop into PHP and say if we're currently in a search. So we'll say is search. So we'll include certain code in here. Otherwise, else we'll include other code here. So here's the code for the excerpt. So we always only want that if we're in a search. So that goes in these brackets. Drop out of PHP and then back into PHP here. And then uh, this entire logic that decides between the excerpt or the full content when we're on the home page can go in these brackets. So we'll just copy and paste this here. And then obviously we don't need to drop into PHP again, and then we don't need to drop out of it again. Okay, so now if we refresh, <clears throat> we can see that the search results page is always only showing an excerpt. But the home page is still using the logic to decide whether to use the excerpt or the full content but the neat thing is, is that both search and index, they're both being powered by git template part. 
which means we're keeping our code dry. We're not repeating ourselves unnecessarily. We're letting content.php power the output for both views. And where there is a tiny bit of a difference, we're just using an if statement instead of having two separate files completely. Let's make our code even less repetitive. You'll remember that we also have an archive view. So if I click on opinion, it'll only show posts from the opinion category. Now that's being controlled by archive.php. And it also has very similar code. So you'll remember this article code uh, <laughs> that we already created a separate file for. So I will remove article and instead I write git template part content. So here we can see that if we refresh archive.php, this is the archive view for opinion, it is now using the exact same code as the home page and the search page. Now, if we stop and think for a moment, we'll probably conclude that the archive should be similar to the search page and that we only want to show excerpts no matter what. So what we can do in content.php, you remember that if statement that we created where it's saying, if we're currently viewing a search, then always show the excerpt. We can simply say, or if we're in an archive. And then if we refresh, you can see that now archives will always use the excerpt. Okay, so let's review what we've accomplished so far. We had code that was nearly identical in index.php and we replaced that, search.php and we replaced that, and archive.php. We replaced all three of those with a single line, get template part content, which looks in the content.php file that we created. So now all of our code is in one central place and it's not repeated throughout our theme files. And this is fantastic because now if we ever wanna make any changes, we can make them once instead of having to repeat ourselves three times. Now, before we close out this lesson, you'll remember that earlier I mentioned that this function, get template part, accepts two parameters, not just one. Now, obviously in this lesson, we've only seen the first parameter in use. The first parameter is required, that's the slug and it's the base file name that WordPress will look for. So this code, obviously, like we've said before, will make WordPress look for content.php in our theme folder. Now the second parameter that's optional allows you to specify a more particular name. So if I say home or single or page, but let's put it back to home, WordPress will now try to include or require a file named content-home.php. Now, that might not be very useful, but let me show you uh, something that we can play with in the future that would be very useful. Instead of quotes, we could say, get post format. So what that will do is it's a function that will return what type of post is currently being looped through. So it will be either a standard post or an aside or a photo gallery or an audio file. Uh, in a future lessons, we'll learn more about WordPress and post formats. But for now, just know that the get template part function allows you to pass along a second parameter that can make things much more dynamic. That will bring this particular lesson to a close. The takeaway point should be that the get template part function allows your theme to avoid repetitious code. But even beyond that, it allows you as the developer to stay organized to break out code into certain chunks and certain files so it's easier to manage. And we'll learn more about that in the future. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you feel like you learned something and stay tuned for more WordPress and web development tutorials. Thanks, bye.